In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Windows XP on your 3DS. Just kidding, but I will be walking you through how to get custom themes on your 3DS just like this one. So let's get started. In the description, I have a link for the latest release of Anemone 3DS, and it should take you to this page. Um, if you want to do this all on your 3DS, you can scan this QR code using FBI, but I'm going to be doing this uh, with my SD card plugged into my computer, downloading the CIA file. So it's up to you. But anyway, Anemone 3DS is a theme manager for your 3DS, made by HelloMan892. So shout out to uh, Dylan G for creating this. But back on this GitHub page, just scroll down and we're gonna download the Anemone 3DS.cia. And it should download in the bottom left. And then once you have that, pull up your SD card. Here's what mine looks like. And then what you're gonna do is open up your uh, CIAS folder and just place Anemone 3DS inside. And that's all we need to do on the computer. So you can eject your SD card and uh, I'll meet you on the 3DS. Now, once you're over on your DS, we're gonna open up our FBI software. If you don't have this, I uh, showed you how in my initial homebrew uh, 3DS video. So if you haven't done that, you can check out that video and get it there. But let's open it up. Press A on SD, scroll down to CIAS click on anemone3ds.cia and we're just going to install and delete it. This will install it and then delete the file off your SD card so it won't be taking up space that we don't need it to be. So press A, press A again and it should install. Press A when it's done and we're going to press B, B and then the home button. And then once you go back to your home menu, you should see new software has been added. So press OK, and then uh, let's open up our present. There we go, we got an enemy 3DS theme manager. So let's, uh, let's open it up. And if you get this message, we're just gonna press A to quit. Go into your settings. Click on change theme. And right now you see it's creating theme management information. Once you've done that, just press B and let's head back into an enemy and it should not see that error message again. So we see no theme found. Uh, on the bottom screen, we're gonna click the globe button, downloading theme list. Now, depending on your connection, this can take a while. But here we go, it's loaded. And now you can have uh, different options for themes. But once it finishes loading the first time, as you see, we'll press B and then load back into it. It download or it loads a lot faster. So it's just the initial loading. But up in the top here, you can uh, click the search icon, and uh, let's do Windows XP. So just press search, and again, the initial search might take a while. You only have to do this once once you download a theme. Then you can select whichever one you want, and on the top screen it says A to download, so uh, let's download it now. And then I'll also show you a faster way to browse through all of the themes, instead of waiting for it to load each page. So once it downloads, just press B. So you press A, and hold up on the D-pad, and then release A, and then it will install the theme. And when you're done, you should see a check mark right there. So let's press start to exit, press the home button. <laughs> And there we go, we have the Windows XP theme. If when you install a theme and go to your home menu, it stays as the previous one, all you gotta do, press the power button, and then press the home button, and it should reset to the theme you're on. Just like that. And there we go, we have the Windows XP theme. And I'm also gonna show you how to browse themes faster and download them straight from your QR code. So let's go back into an enemy. And then here, you can press the R button and then you'll be able to scan QR codes. So if you go down to the link in the description, it'll take you to the theme plaza. I'll just show you on my computer here. And you have all of these options here. So when you're on here, uh, you can go to the top right, go to newest, go to most downloaded or most liked. So let's try most downloaded and we'll see Pixel Cyberpunk here. So you can hover over this and just scan the QR code with your 3DS. And just like that, it's downloading. Uh, 
Unfortunately, this one didn't work. Just press A to quit. So let's try that again. So find the one you want. Let's do, uh, how about Crimson Knight? Grab your 3DS, press R, and then point it at the screen. Start downloading. And there we go, we have it downloaded right now. I downloaded a few more, but uh, let's set up Crimson Knight. So press A, hold up, release A, and it will download. There we go. So let's go check it out. And there we go, it looks pretty cool. But that is a much faster way to browse through it anyway. It doesn't take long at all to load the uh, the themes. So you can search something like Naruto and it'll just instantly come up and you can scan the code. You don't have to wait, you know, a couple minutes for these to load. But anyways, that's it for the video. I hope you uh, found it helpful. And if you did, please leave a like. If you ran into any issues, just comment below and I'll try to get back to you. I prioritize public subscribers first. I try to reply to their comments first. And if you want to join the Discord for help as well, it'll be linked below. And if you're interested in more 3DS tutorials, subscribe and uh, keep your eye out for those. There'll be more coming out in the future. But anyways, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye!